Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a classic British dinner. It's called Bangers and Mash. You might not have heard of it, but it's basically mashed potato with sausages. And it's called Bangers because when you cook them in the pan, that's the sort of noise it used to make if you cook them really fast. They sort of bang, right? So just call it sausages and mash if you get confused. I'm going to have it with a really cool gravy. It's really cheap, really filling, really yummy. So perfect for students, old people, animals, whatever you want to be. And you're going to love it. This is little Chloe. She's told me how to make the recipe. She's about to go to bed. Once we rock her to sleep, I'm going to come back to the kitchen. I'll show you how to make this thing. Right here then folks, let's get on and make this recipe. It's gonna be so, so easy. Even a monkey could do it. I don't even wanna think about that, but a monkey probably could do it. Anyhow, you're just gonna need three pans and we'll get to them as and when. One of them has got a pan of boiling water in it and we're gonna put our potatoes in there. So I'm gonna mash my potato, I'm gonna have a bit of a rustic feel to it. Give them a wash and leave the skin on. I'll alternatively peel it if you don't want that skin in there. Make sure there's no mud on it, okay? Because that won't taste good. So just gonna boil them up, mash it up with some other special ingredients in a bit. We've got a frying pan there, which is gonna use for our sausages, which we're gonna cook first of all. So the frying pan, the old classic banger method. You could put them in the oven, under the grill if you want, any way you want. This is fine. Yeah. Okay, so you can see my pan is nice and hot there. The good thing about this recipe is you can really go to town on it. You can make it as bland or as amazing as you want. You can basically just have potatoes mashed with sausages, or you can really twist the flavours on the head, which is what we're hopefully going to do, make it taste real good for you. Okay, so that pan is hot. I've got my sausages here. So I'm just going to drop one in, like so. Just so you get the idea. I'm going to cook them so they're nice and gone brown all the way around on the side. And while they're cooking, we can work on our gravy and our potatoes. Yeah. I better put more sausages in, otherwise it's getting a bit of a lonely sausage right there. Yeah. Okay, amazing. So all the sausages in the pan, they've literally only just dropped in there. They're sort of putting their suntan lotion on, ready to go into the sun. They're ready, and I hope you are too. I don't know what I meant by that, but let's just go along with it. Anyhow, you saw that pan of water is boiling. I've put three out of the four of my potatoes in. Let's just drop the other one in there like that. So the temperature does go down a little bit. You have to notice, though, that the water level was actually quite low, because when you put the potatoes in, it goes kind of like a fat person getting in the swimming pool. So what we're going to do is bring that buck up to the boil, get it all nice and cooked through. It should take about 15 minutes, then we mash away. Let's move on to our gravy. The sausages are staying on there on their own. We're going to keep them quite bland. Yes. Okay then guys, so right behind me you have got the pan, the sausages cooking away, the potatoes bubbling away too, and there's one other pan here which I've just started to warm up. We're going to add some oil in there, and we're going to add our onions and our leeks to start to build our gravy, okay? It's going to be nice. You're going to love it. Okay, so close up on that pan now. It's nice and warm, so I'm just going to pour in just under a tablespoon of oil, and right here I have got myself a chopped onion and a chopped leek. So I'm just going to push them in gradually. I'm probably, knowing me, going to get it everywhere, but just drag, get it in. Oh, that's not so bad. I'm normally really messy, get it everywhere, but uh, so far, so good. Yeah, that is all in there. So cook it away, fry it away, get it soften, and more stuff will add to it. Fluid stuff. Fantastic. So the leeks and the onions are all in there. You can see they're starting to soften already, but we want them so soft, baby. We want them softer than Chloe's bum right now. So, so soft. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's show you where we are. So the leeks and the onions, as we know, are breaking down. We're going to come and add a little bit of butter to those in just a minute. But if I just robot dance, like that, you can see the sausages. I've been turning them, and they're on a very low heat, by the way. I've got to mention that, just so we can time it. We can always crank it up if we need to, but we want to try and finish it all together, okay? If I just move up a little bit, you can see the potatoes over there, still cooking away, roaring. It's all working well. So we'll come back to our onions and leeks now, and I'll let go of the tripod. Yeah. Okay, so the banger noise I was talking about, listen to this, baby. Can you hear that? Yeah. That's bangers. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of fun and games to the leeks and onions. I don't know why I said fun and games, but it is fun and games. Right, so they're nice and soft. They're loving it. They're just so floppy, they're like this. So what we're going to do is add in a knob of butter, put it straight in, like that, and that'll melt in. And what? An onion just jumped out. Okay, don't worry about it. That, that doesn't have to happen for you. But anyhow, let the heat sort of melt that down, stir it all through. And one other cheeky thing I'm going to add is I've got a little bit of golden syrup, aka corn syrup in other countries. Just add a little squidgen of that in there for a really naughty, cheeky, spanky kick. Ooh, stir it through. Okie doke, that has only been two minutes. You can see that butter is bubbling away in there. It's full of flavour. There's like a sugary ooziness as well from that little bit of golden syrup. Absolutely loving it. It's going to taste so good. So, grab yourself 500 mils of water and just pour that in like so. What we're going to do is add a stock cube in with this now as well and also a cheeky little ingredient. Yeah. Okay then folks, so before we simmer down our gravy, we're going to add two other things. One of them is a stock cube, which is in my hand right now. I'm just going to chuck that in like that. Well, half of it's on my spatula, but it's all good. 
stir that through but before we bring it to a simmer one other thing remember this is completely optional but I'm gonna add some Marmite okay um, I've added it before it gives it a cheeky little kick but you can also do soy sauce or Worcester sauce or some balsamic vinegar lots of different things you can add let's just try some Marmite today and I think you're gonna love it a little spoonful of that in there wow okay so I've got my Marmite there it's just over a teaspoon I'm just gonna push that straight in there like that I think in Australia you call that guys a Vegemite Marmite I don't know but let's uh, anyway stir it through Simmer it and it should start to thicken now, baby. Right here, my friends, it's been five minutes. The gravy is simmering away. Woo! It is hot in here, but it's cold outside, so that's a good thing, right? Check out the gravy. Look, if I give it a little stir, you can see the onions and the leeks rising to the top. That is the texture I'm after. I want it not too thick, not too thin. But if you want it thicker, maybe add less water, maybe some flour, it's up to you. One thing I am gonna add to it right now, though, is a little bit of sage. You can use fresh sage leaves if you like, but I'm just gonna pour this in straight out the tub, give it a little stir around, give it a nice little funky boost whoosh then that goes like that our sausages are cooking away good thing cooking them like that i can just keep turning them get them really nice and dark and funky but it's kind of like a slow cooker approach the potatoes i've just sliced in half they're all ready i've checked them so we're ready to mush them and we can bring this together it's hot right hope folks you can probably see here i've got a giant salad bowl and i've put our potatoes in it you can see as well that the skin look it just wants to peel off like this so when we mash it up all that skin is going to break down let's make some funky mash Okay, so using the heat of the potatoes there, we're gonna chuck in a block of butter, like so. Pour in 100 mils of single cream. You can use milk. A heaped teaspoon of whole grain mustard. Chug chug, in that goes. And just another teaspoon of sage in there. So just sprinkle that in. And then we get to mash it. Here we go, so I'm just breaking it down, merging all of these ingredients together. You can see how the skin is just falling off. You want all those flavors to merge. Make sure that butter gets all in there. Oh my goodness, this is looking good. And it's kind of fun. Okay guys, after mashing it together, wow, it looks like a mouth. Hello guys, after I mashing it together, look, we've got this amazing whole grain mash, boom. I'm gonna get the sausages off. The gravy is simmering away. Let me just show you, cha-ching. I'm gonna show you over here. Wow, that is ready to go. <sighs> I'm ready to eat it. And I'm very hot right now. Okay, so to serve it, all you've got to do is grab yourself a cool plate like that. Get yourself a nice big dollop of our mashed potato like that. In fact, if you're feeling flash, what you could do is pipe it on with like one of those cake things. Now we're going to shove our sausages in. You can, you can stab them in like horns like that. You can rest them on top. I'm going to rest them on top like they're lying down on the sunbed, baby. Okay, so I'm just going to go for two for the minute. I'm going to just push this one in. In fact, I should actually call it a banger. But let's get our gravy and just pour it all over the top. Let's just drench it. Yeah. Right, here we go then. Nice big spoonful, just completely cover it. Oh my goodness, look at that. The leek and the onion sat on there, hanging out. Oh, wow. I cannot wait to taste this. Okay, folks, I have got the perfect thoughtful here. Sausage, gravy, and potato. I'm gonna shove it down my mouth now. It smells so good. I've been wanting to do this for ages. And uh, yeah, this is good for it. Oh, very slow motion, wasn't it? Oh my God. Sorry, I know I'm quite loud when I eat, but that is amazing. We didn't even need to do anything to those sausages. All the flavour is from the potatoes and the gravy. It's just going boom. I'm getting the gravy one side, potatoes the other, and the sausage straight down the middle. And that sounds rude, but that, my friends, is amazing. Took me half an hour to make that in total. So if I wasn't filming it, maybe a little less, and we don't have to go so flashy to put your own twist on it, yeah? If I can make it, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers, then. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cook a baby. I can't put that in. Need uh right here. So right here. I'm going to put a bit of oil in there. Sausages just going to be on their own. Hi guys, how's it going? Plain sausages, although you can get these really funky flavour things. Okay, so I just want to show you what I want to show you. Okay, folks. Hopefully you can see we've got our sort. Dang, 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 dang. Right, so here we go. We've got the leeks and the onions in there. They're just hanging around in there, just doing it. A... Here we go, guys. And even better. <laughs> Starting to break down already. That's only been about three minutes. Want we'll to give it? <laughs> okay, so the banger noise I was talking out, out, talking about. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna add some sort of non. Uh, boom. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of fun and games to our leeks and onions right now. Uh, right here, folks. Ah. Okay, so to serve it, grab yourself a flashy little. Right here. I need to move the camera. Yeah. 
Right here then folks, I can't wait to taste what this one tastes like. It's gonna be unbelievable. Did I say, yes I did. Taste what tastes like. Wow, sausage and the gravy, I know it smells amazing, amazing. And the potatoes with that mustard. And let's not forget all that good. Okay, here we go, folks. I've got the perfect fork here. Fork, 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 fork.